Har. Welcome to the Long Hop Cricket Podcast. This is take number two because we just realised we were basically finishing an episode that Dave's dog kicked the wire out of my mic so it didn't record any of it. So we're going to do it again just for you guys because we're nice. We don't skip it when we get annoyed. We just start again. Do you remember? Do hard work. Oh, sorry. Do you remember when we did that podcast where we was like the Guardian Fantasy team? We got through the whole podcast, right. and we were doing that fan- that fan- that fantasy, um, not fantasy, but like a promo five to now. Or no, it was. it was a like an online. Oh right, yeah, and then we realised you had to pay for it, and we got all the way to the end of the podcast, yeah. and we had to find out it was like eight pounds <laughs> an entry, yeah. and I looked at Owen. <laughs> And I was like, do we just put this podcast out because we did like 40 minutes on this? It was a good podcast. We really enjoyed doing it. But like it was basically pointless because we went through the whole teams. Got No, you're fine. Got okay, to the end. Sorry. I was just worried it happened again. Got to the end and was like, fuck, we're actually not going to be able to do this. Yeah. No, it is frustrating. It's kind of like this one. Anyway, um, do you want to, Yo, right. do you want to talk about... Right. People may remember if, you po- if you've been a subscriber for a while or if you've listened for a while... First of all, if you've listened for a while and you're not a subscriber, what are you doing? And second of all, we had a bet that you thought Gary Balance was going to be on the plane. I said there was no chance this guy was getting on the plane. We had £10 worth of scratch cards bet, and today I've paid up. Yeah, and then during the 30 minutes we'd already recorded, which ended up being... Unrecorded. Dead material. um, I actually... I You've just, done a few already, haven't I've you? done a few. I did a few last. And to be fair, we were worried about how disruptive it was, although we're going to carry on anyway and do oh, the I've, rest of them. I've only got two left. I've got the big bad boy one. Big bad boy. But I've won three quid so far. Three quid. Tell them, tell them, because we were in the garage. Yep. I asked you, because there's an array, you got one pound, two pound, five pound, ten pound. What did you go for? Um, I got one five pound scratch card with the right. top prize of a million pounds. That's the big boy. So that one is like the you know, finale, the granddaddy. Yeah, the WG Grace nice. scratch cards, right? And I picked up three a few Gary balances, three and one James pounds, <laughs> three, on. three one pound scratch cards <laughs> with a um, top prize of a hundred thousand pounds. That's a good amount. I'm sorry, but. I'm just it's all right. don't don't just keep, just go, just yeah, keep, keep going yeah keep going keep the mind and then I got a couple of really shitty ones these are like I don't know um, <laughs> <laughs> like Ansari scratch cards <laughs> five thousand pounds they just give up on the career <laughs> just before it started so these ones top prize of five thousand with uh that and that cost owing a pound each and I've won oh fuck I've won <laughs> come on I've won three quid nice. What, yeah, which, yeah, yeah. You've won three pounds. I've won three pounds. This one's a dead one. Oh, uh, we're going to start doing this podcast, which is going to be Ash's chat. Yeah, and a few scratch cards involved. Yeah. Right. Uh, this one we've got. We've got this week, next week, and then we're into the ashes. Into the ashes. So this is these are these those these important build ups, up. right? It's the build up. Uh, we've got we've got some in. Well, we've got vice captaincy we, news we, first. Yeah, we've we? got some news. So vice captain has been decided. First of all, before we get into who the vice captain is, whether it was a good pick, mm-hmm. does this just confirm? Because we don't know what's happening with the Stokester, do we? With the steamboat, we don't know what's happening. Does this just confirm that somebody knows it's not? He's not coming. Well, with the ECB are saying um, he's not in the team. Well, they haven't said anything. They've just almost like taken his name away. Yeah, it, well, he's not. There isn't even any. There's no We've Sky all, Sports about him. Well, it's so it's just gone silent. We've had all these injuries, and Stokes' name hasn't come back to petition about yeah. him being in the team. It's just been new players, new players, new players. And of course, the vice captaincy has now been given to someone else. I actually think, to be honest with you, he isn't a suitable vice captain anymore. That vice captain should be. This yeah, isn't well, just he, a serious that, thing. Yeah, well, that has to be taken from him. No, even if he Freddie came Freddie was getting absolutely smashed out. Yeah, he wasn't, he wasn't beating people, people up and That's knocking true. them out in the street. It's <laughs> <laughs> slightly different from having a few too many beers and getting a pedlo. <laughs> Those are completely different things. Um, Freddie did have his captaincy taken from him anyway. So. Oh, did he? Well, yeah, he wasn't the captain when he finished, was he? But like... Was that the pedalo incident or was that because... Well, was I reckon like... it probably contributed a little <laughs> bit, didn't it? Uh, what I'm saying to you, Owen, is... 
I want to back Stokes purely you... because he's just like one of my like he's an England player and we need him. Right. If this what do you was mean? if this was an Australian or if this was like an Indian or a just Sri Lankan anyone player, else. <laughs> uh, I'm not saying just any got, other team. And even if we weren't going to play that team yeah. next, right? Oh would, yeah, you'd be throwing your shit. I would still be saying no, you oh, can't get back on yeah. the team. You know, like I would be going crazy. Like when Luis Suarez got So what you're saying is, is like, you just you only have morals when it suits you, is what you're saying. Yeah. Right, okay. I'm saying we need Ben Stokes so much that I would just let, don't him just, care. let him just fall straight back in the team. If he, say he does, say something happens, he's allowed to come and play again. So you're saying like the police have what, like yeah, held what, off. I mean, whatever like, needs to happen, happens. happens. Right, yeah. He comes and plays. Do you give him the vice captaincy back? No, he's lost his vice right, captaincy. Yeah, that has to happen. But I'm saying that from a pure selfish view... A spectator or someone who's worried about getting battered in Australia, <laughs> right? Which is the main thing. Right. I don't really care about. Don't say you don't care about winning. No, I don't. It's like I'm not saying that you were going to say that. Then no, I was going to say I don't care about watching him like as an entertainer. I just care about him making like making helping runs. England. Yeah, basically, right, yeah. rather than being entertaining. Rather than saying, "Oh, I can't," you know, we need to watch the best players. Yeah, I just need the best players yeah, there to make saying. the runs. Yeah. Um, I'm saying he can he can come and play in the Ashes. Right. Purely selfish. And then punish him after. <laughs> <laughs> Think it just doesn't work, does it's it? Like, listen, you can't play in English conditions in the summer. You're allowed to go and play abroad. You're not allowed to play in England for six months. That would be the punishment. He has to be punished properly and it has to be saying you can't play in the Well, office. listen, we've picked a new vice captain. Players are getting injured. He's not getting called up. The bloke's not coming. The ECB need to come out and tell us. Yeah, I know. It's are we waiting on them or are we waiting on the police or what? Yeah. Because we don't know, do we? Because I've got no idea. If they're saying we need, we're waiting on them, let's just say he's banned. He's banned for this test series. It's going yeah. the distance. Because you're still hoping, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for a comeback. <laughs> you, you can't bear it. He's not playing, mate. Anyway, the new vice captain... The gym dog, James Anderson. Oh, just want a fiver. No way. <laughs> yeah. yeah, boy. <laughs> nice one. What's that? Eight quid. Yeah. And you've still got the big bad boy left. Oh, and I said uh, on the on the other podcast that <laughs> um, nice work, man. <laughs> <laughs> I said on the other podcast that if we if I win over a tenner, oh uh, yeah, um, I would put that money towards buying a new mic stand because Owen is currently not using a mic stand. Yeah. Shit, I haven't even done the fucking bonus <laughs> game on this one. <laughs> <laughs> What am I on? Five, six, seven, eight, eight, eight quid. You're on eight quid. I've got one bad boy. I feel you, like I want to go and buy another load. Well, I didn't buy these, but... You don't... We'll do, do that. We'll do, we'll do that one. Are you one of those one. people? Hey, hey, listen to the whole of the podcast. I'm doing the one million pound one, the last thing we do. Right, but are you one of those people, if you went on a scratch card, you go and spend that much on scratch cards? No, again? no. Um, Who does that? I don't understand the mentality. Today, I won, ele- so I won 11 quid this morning. <laughs> this makes me sound like I'm yeah, I was fucking off say, my head on a scratch card. Fucking hell. Last night, I... <laughs> <laughs> so you did it this morning, last night, and you're doing it now. So last night, right, I went into the shop down the road from me and probably just bought, like, cookies and shit. Right. Well, do you know what? I fancy a scratch card. Nice. And I already had one in here, one of these £100,000 ones, lying yeah. around for a few days ago. The you undone? And I did it, but I won a panel. I just hadn't claimed oh, I see. it. Oh, okay. So I was like, do you know what? I will... Get another one and just go, like, yeah, looks nice. in, innit? I like you it. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. And it was a really long one. And a friend phoned me saying, do you want to go to the pub? And I was halfway through the scratch card. Yeah. yeah, okay. So I left the scratch card, did it this morning, found out I won a tenner, went and cashed it in 11 quid. Eight now, quid now. But I didn't spend, I didn't... No. <laughs> I didn't reinvest that 11 quid back into scratch cards. No. What's the point? It's a mugs game. Oh, it's 11 pounds. I went and spent it. Do you remember when you did have a gambling problem? <laughs> Do you remember how stressed you used to get? <laughs> no, it's not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> you used to be really stressed every weekend yeah. betting on the football. Yeah. You'd be just in the bookies, just sweating. I think I have quite an addictive personality. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good, that was. <laughs> oh, right, we've gone completely off topic. What we're we talking about? Jimmy Anderson, vice yes. captain. Ben Stokes doesn't look like he's going to be part of the England yeah. team. What's she thinking? I think do you like, there, do wasn't, you like mu- there wasn't much choice, to be honest with you. Well, that's not true. Well, who else? Broad, Anyone. I don't they know. pick whoever they like. 
Like Ruben Loftus Cheek. <laughs> they pick every they pick everyone, don't they? I don't even under. How does Ben Stokes get it in front of James? Well, how did Eric anyway? Dyer get the captaincy the other day? Oh my god! I've already said this once. Yeah, you said it in the last one, and we said we'd, we're not talking about football. <laughs> um, I think James Anderson should have had it instead of Ben Stokes. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, but the thing is, though, Jimmy Anderson's probably not a long-term thing, is he? But Ben Stokes battered someone. So, <laughs> <laughs> look, the steamboat is not playing. James Anderson is now the captain. I think his mentality is what we need for right. the Ashes. The dog just winked at me. Is that a code? Because <laughs> <laughs> no, I just told the dog off, right? But like, you know, when you tell uh, like a dog off and you just do it with like your eyes. And she just went, winked back at me. Yeah. Listen, it's a dog. Have we even introed what this podcast is your about? Your dog's a maniac. Yeah, we have, we have, we have. So I'm, just, I'm just high off life because these scratch cards. You're very happy I'm about buzzing. the scratch cards. Right. Aren't you? Do, you, do you want to do the last one now? No, no. It's the, okay. That keeps the yes, listeners down to the end, doesn't yeah. it? See if I won okay, a million pounds. Right. I ain't sharing that. <laughs> 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 this isn't even an Ashes chat. It is. Okay, right. James Anderson, what do you think? I think. Good idea. I think, though, I think he always he's, kind of works as a vice captain because he's probably like the leading bowler. And so I don't want him jump. to be the captain because I think he's too hot headed and would make, but yeah. he would just make bad decisions. But I think he's perfect he to go forward. to. Could could they have asked Alistair Cook to just do it? Be like, do you know what, mate? Cook, he'd come back and just be no. his like, right hand man. I think Joe Root is like just slightly less conservative version of Alistair Cook. Le- yeah, less conservative. Yeah, yeah. just. But there's not much in it, I don't think. Whereas James Anderson, I think, is completely different. Like that is a different, you think he's, just a different yeah, view on how to yeah, go about winning yeah. the cricket well, game. Well, I'm I'm up for it. I'm yeah, not gonna. I like it. I'm not gonna argue. I mean, that's that. a good pick. I think if they would if they would have given it to, oh no, they, there's not that many players. They'd have given it to Gary Balance. I'd have been pissed off. Cause right. He'd, he'd well, he's, yeah, he's only just come back into the team. But um, I think <gasps> I think James Anderson. Is that going to be a long-term thing or do you reckon that well, is just... he'll have it until he retires, won't he? Oh, you think that's not just for the Ashes? No. <laughs> no, he's vice-captain. You can't give it to someone for a series, can you? <laughs> oh, I don't know anymore. What is life? <laughs> don't balls rolled an ankle or something? <laughs> <laughs> You've done ligament damage. Ligament damage. Right. right. And they've brought this. someone else in. Now, what you were saying... What has Liam Plunkett done? Right, yeah. But you were saying with, with Jake Ball, yeah. you think he'll be fine you think Liam series. Plunkett's like kicked one of, I, the, one listen, of the chairman's dogs? And I like don't that. think if he was going to be fine for the series, they'd fly someone out there. No, they haven't fly, flown someone out there, have they? Oh, no, sorry. But they've called someone up from the line. Yeah, but that's good to give him a little crack at the... Um, no, the, I, think the if he, I think if he was going to be all right, they wouldn't be calling someone up to replace him. The other thing is, he hasn't we were saying he hasn't gone home, so that's why we're thinking uh, he'll... the way that they've worded it is to cover for the last one game. What's the point in that? <laughs> They're saying that I don't know. I don't know, and I don't know why Liam Plunkett's not there. I don't even know who this Garten is. Place of Sussex, left arm fast or medium fast? No idea. Left arm. Well, that's because we found that out in the last podcast. What's the matter? <laughs> You've lost it. <laughs> You've lost the fucking plot. Though I am concerned, <laughs> not concerned, but <laughs> I am a slightly miffed about the idea that <laughs> Liam Plunkett <laughs> is a part of the England squad. Like you say, I think I think he's kicked a dog of one Shagged of the selectors wife. because <laughs> because. I don't understand how he wasn't in the team anyway. How was he not in just the original squad that went to Australia? We've had two injuries and he's still not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go on. Well, we've had two injuries and still no mention. <laughs> this is shocking. <laughs> Listen. No. The quality's dropping. We need yeah, to fucking switch on Because you can burst into laughing. Well, your <laughs> dog is a freak. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we get right, dislikes. Come on, come on. Yeah, no, no, let's talk about that. 
What? 11 likes on the last one. Someone one dislike. I, tell, I can tell 11 you. 11 people didn't agree with that L- Listen, I can... It's <laughs> <laughs> a different word coming out. I can out. tell you why, why we got a dislike. Why? Because of what the, how you named it. What did I name people it? are clicking. That's why we got views. What did I name it? <laughs> that's why we got... Because you like Ash, Ash's preview. What, so people get minute. that and they want video footage of Mitchell Stark bowling quick and then... All that, that, that's what they're, they're not expecting a still image of women's cricket at Worcester and us talking and they don't know who we are. And one person has <laughs> been so annoyed, they've disliked it. I was about to say they could have vi- video, video footage of my dick, but that would be highly appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I mean, anyway. Um, what I'm saying is, Right. England, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know them. <laughs> We've got players, Overton, this what what was his name, Owen? Garton. Garton. So we've got likes of Overton, Garton, who have never crane, who have never played for England before. Oh for fuck's sake, have you pulled the mic out again? No. No, no, you've not. No. Who have never played for England before. Well, Crane hasn't he played in the 2020? Oh, yeah, that doesn't count. No, we, we all know that. And now we've got the likes of Finn and Ball, who have gone. Do you want to, do you want to take a ray? <laughs> Listen, do you want to just pause no, no. this and we'll come back? No, no, no. Because you're, no, 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 you're no, not no. in the zone. No, no, that dog's fucking crying. No, do the scratch card. No, we're not doing do the scratch, the scratch card. card. No, we'll take a break. No, we're not taking a break. We'll get through it. Listen, listen. We're taking a break. People enjoy this. Look, she needs to go to the toilet. Right, sorry about that. We've um just taken a minute out. Yeah, the dog. No, no, you fucking no, lost no, no, shit. The dog. The dog's now sorted. Let's get on with it. She, she needs to sit somewhere. We've had the. <laughs> We're right. Are you going to concentrate? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm. I'm. I, you need to get them. Let's get in the I zone am. together. Yeah, good. <laughs> right. How are you? Are you? Are? Uh, yeah, I'm good. This has been a shit show. No, it hasn't. Come on. What I'm saying is Liam Plunkett needs to get into that team because he actually knows how to play for England. Yes, and... He's bowls fast. He knows what it is. He's good with a bat. Why is he not getting put in front of these guys I've never heard of before? Yeah, why wasn't he on the plane originally anyway? Tom Curran's coming for Stephen Finn when that should have been Liam Plunkett. Liam Plunkett should have come in for Ben Stokes. And now we've Minimum got... Minimum should have been coming in for Ball. And just to replace him. I just don't know about this Ball thing. I think he's... They think he's going to be fit for the for the Ashes. It's just the warm game they're worried about. So do you reckon he's their pick? No, no I'm not saying he's their pick. He's not. You just they're not thinking he's their he'll starter. be fit. But I'm saying for that them to choose. They think he will be in contention for. Yeah. Okay. Being picked. Um, was there anything else news-wise? Oh yeah, Mitchell Starks picked up two hat tricks. Two hat tricks back the back end of both of. In innings, that's never, impressive. I don't know it? if that's ever been done before. It's great in one he's game. Picked up, to picked get up two like eighteen tricks. wickets in the last two games. Sheffield Shield, so he's playing as farmers. Yeah, but still, if we can take anything from our warm-up games, then they can take something from that. Do you want to? Should we go through the warm-up because we've had up, two and we move on to the well. We've had three now. No, we've had two. We've had two. The second one's just finished, isn't it? Yeah. Right, and then the next one is in a few days' time. So the first one was against Wacker 11. Uh, with the only, apparently the only recognised recognisable name in there is Coulter Nile, who was the captain. Who you've told me he's injured now. Yeah, he's injured. So this Wacker 11, I think someone commented earlier. In the, I'll, I'll find it for you now, just so I can reference this guy. I think it was Cam. Yeah, Cam came in and said. Uh, our practice match was against the team, basically just full of farmers. Right, yeah, but just people. We, there was one player who played Sheffield Shield or a good look. The rest of them were like league cricketers. Right, probably a bit above that. But well, yeah. like, I'm not saying like yeah, you know, they no. got pissed but, before. Yeah, but, but not not a not at a stand not at a standard that should not, be playing yeah. England. I mean, they're probably not even second division standard. Yeah, right, okay. English, English yeah. cricket, and it was a two day game. And England did all right with the bat. They batted first. Uh, Cookie made a two-ball duck. That's not great, is it? Although I don't know, you don't. I don't think you take anything from getting a two-ball duck. Like 
Well, yeah. It's just that happens sometimes. But Stoneman made an 85 off 113. That's good. I like this. Vince made an 82. And Milan and Balance also made 50s but retired out. So those are our worst players and they've all made runs. Again, how much can we take from playing farmers? Do you know what I mean? Although the thing is... It's it's, it's better than making runs in the nets, isn't it? it that, it's a step up from runs in the, in the nets. You can't make runs in the nets, but <laughs> they're, making, they're making runs <laughs> in Australia, isn't it? Yeah. So they're playing in Australian conditions yeah. and yeah. they're making runs. And that's going to give you confidence, whether it's against farmers or not. I think what we... <laughs> What we did find out was Vince batted at number three. So it looks like Balance, who batted at number six, because England were able to field 13 players, whatever it was, um, is actually the second choice to come into this batting lineup, while Vince is the first choice yeah. to come in and bat at number three, which is interesting. Well, I, I, think, uh... I would have put that the other way around due to Balance's England career previously, but... Um, it looks like Vince is going to be playing that first game rather than balance. At three. Joe, not, Joe doesn't want to bat there, does he? He, just, know, he doesn't want to play there. Yeah. So, I don't know. We'll have to see. You got Listen, he's he's had one inning. Well, he's played there and he's done well. Isn't he? Yeah. So, can't complain so far. And... It's a two-day game, isn't it? Yeah, so it ended up in a draw. Um... Wokes batted. There's no Moen Alley, so let me just find out. One, two, three, six, seven. Wokes batted at eight. Yeah, a bit of a Wokes isn't a. He's a good number eight. He's a, Moen no, Alley would normally bat at eight, and he would have batted nine. Broadie ten, well, eleven. Yeah, that's crazy. But um, yeah, England only lose four wickets. Two of them, and the other two retired hurt. We could probably could have battled on for forever. To be honest with you. Yeah, I was thinking that with a two-day game. Surely you just don't you just if you can just bat the whole first day. Well, they they did. England batted the whole first day. Made probably made three hundred forty-nine, and then had a, maybe had a little ball of them uh, for the end of play. Know. Okay. And then the Wacker guys had a go. Yeah. And they actually did really well, which is worrying. Yeah, that's because not they've good, got no it? first-class batsman in that lineup. Not that I know of, anyway. Captain Isle is a bowler. Bowls way down. Yeah. He actually got a three ball duck. Better, better than Cookie, though. So. <laughs> but there were players, a lad called Hinchcliffe, a lad called Felipe. It's good for them, isn't it? Made runs against England's yeah. premier bowlers. I think the guy you picked to win the Ashes got spanked as well. Stuart Broad, one for 64 off 13. That's not great. Craig Overton, two for 70 off 13. How much do you think... Crane, the, two for 75 off 17. How much do you think England bowlers are actually doing this to take Super wickets? Not fit, is he? Yeah, and, and how much are they just doing it to bowl overs in Australia? Do you know what I mean? Obviously, you're always trying to take wickets, but I think they're, well, here's they're one just for getting you. used to conditions and actually bowling in a match situation in Australia. Here's one for you. Yeah. When Shane Warne first came to England, he played against Worcester. Right, and Graham Hicks smashed him everywhere. Right, but yeah, he, he didn't bring out. He only bowled like two stock deliveries. He didn't bring about any variation. Right, and he did that just to get like overs under his belt. Yeah. But he didn't want to show anybody anything. Then they got him ball. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's what Broadie's gonna do. Uh, maybe he's got a new ball. Maybe the wobbly. I've, uh, what What do you think about the crane? Uh, the I'm big. Not, I'm not a fan. I don't. Why? Where have you got this from, this opinion? How have you formed that? Is it because he's not Graham Swan and you just like yeah, Graham he's, Swan? He's nowhere near as good as Graham Swan. Right, but where have you got that from? Right, so he's barely played any four-day cricket. Right, so why does that mean you don't like him? Because I don't think I don't think How he's good How could enough. you have possibly built, built an opinion on whether he is good or not when he hasn't played? Well, I've seen him play. So by that, you're going by everyone who's getting called up It is rubbish? No. So what, what, where are you getting the opinion that, he, that you don't like He him? isn't like... He, is, he hasn't played a lot. So yeah, yeah, that's not again, that, that we've cancelled this out. So he hasn't got experience. He's got no experience against Premier League. Why does that mean he's rubbish? He's a young lad who can't bowl for Toffee. <laughs> You've just made that up, though. You've got nothing to back that up with. <laughs> 
You've just come up with this now. Leech, and this is Leech what you should be a bowler, but never mind. Jesus, you see, you, just you could, like him because you he's just a come fucking up with young this. spinner. You're, you just, you, you just you come up with an your, opinion. <laughs> you just come, pick it out of you thin air. You turn not your thief head on. Like, are they you, young? I oh, love them. Then you, you oh, pick, bloody you, love them if they're young. <laughs> you pick, you pick it up. You just pick it out of thin air. An opinion. Either you love them or you hate them. It's you like, like him because you think there's potential there for him to and then, be amazing. And then, you just, so young. and then you just go, well, oh, I hate him. I why hate do you him. like him, though? Him. Why do you like Crane? I hate him because I watched him bowl and he bowled well. In a fucking and he turned the T20 ball. game. Barely. You just, yeah, you see, you've just come up with this. Hey, now. Really just smash them all around the place. Oh, gee. Let's move on. Okay, no, go on. Then. You you're tell a joke. Me, you tell mate. me why you're, you're all over his dick. You're a joke. This is, you don't say things like that. Tell me why you like Crane. Because when I watched him bowl, he bowled well. You think in you think he can bowl well in Australia? Honestly, do you think he can do that? Right. Do you think he can do that? Sorry, that's a bit aggressive. Right. right. Yes. <laughs> you do? Yes. Got the next question. <laughs> I think you're a liar. Right. If Do you think Nathan yes. Lyon comes across as the best spin bowler ever? He's obviously a better bowler than Crane. Where, how do you get that? Well, just because he's played more international cricket. All right, all Crane right, can't okay. help that, you know can what? he? Play Crane. I just want to prove you wrong. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm sure they'll listen to you. Well, are, you playing, are you playing Crane over Moeen? Yeah. <laughs> You're not though, are you? No, I'm not. But again, if it was my team, it wouldn't look anything like this. Joe, Ro- Joe Root ball three overs. <laughs> how do you do, do? Three for 16. No, <laughs> zero for 16. Three for 16. That's right, isn't it? Anyway... What can you take from this Wacker game? I think it's just getting used to playing in Australia. I don't take anything from it. What about... Apart from the people that Crane picked up two wickets. Overton picked up two wickets. Okay, Jimmy Anderson, we don't need to talk about four. The bowlers are just brilliant. getting overs in. Yeah. It's the batsmen I'm quite happy have made some runs. Whoever you, it's against. Are you more happy that the likes of Vince, Stoneman... Yeah, I'd prefer... Made runs rather than... Uh, Bowlers getting wickets. Crane and yeah, Overton picking up two. Definitely. Yeah, you're more happy with Yeah, that. that's the better way around for me. Is warm up, are warm-up games more important for batsmen or bowlers, do you think? Because you need batsmen. to get match fit, match fit though, don't you? Yeah, but bowlers. you can bowl overs. Do you know what I mean? But like they, they say there's no preparation like being out in the middle. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but that's what... Yeah, batsmen. Because scoring runs just builds confidence. You, you still only rhythm, get... Rhythm though? What about rhythm? Yeah, that's... You're born yeah, with it. Right. <laughs> but you still only get one go when you bat, don't you? Yeah, fair enough. Do you want to move on to the second game that England yes. just won? So England uh, win by 192 runs. Uh, but it's not the most convincing win you'll see from an England side. England bat first. They were put into bat. Is this... What format is this? This is four-day cricket. Four-day cr- Cricket Australia 11. Right. I'll have a, there's no one in that Cricket Australia 11 that I recognise their name. Okay. Someone called Larkin. Right. What's funny about that? Well, he's Larkin around, isn't he? And you've got a friend called Larkin. Yeah. <laughs> <That's what laughs> <that's funny. laughs> right, get on with it. Um, Stoneman makes runs again in the first innings. He makes 61. Like it. In some form. Danger signs for Australia. Uh, Vince makes 33. That's all right. Joe Root makes 58. Mm-hmm. Uh, Milan makes 63. Where's this Milan? So, like, well, he's made fifty. He's done all right, hasn't he? He's and yet, when he came in, he just had nothing. Okay. He had nothing. Oh, no yeah. reason to be picked. Do you remember that Rabada ball that knocked him over, and it was Yorker. Yeah, mental. That was his first innings. Yeah, isn't it? yeah I think that was his first dismissal. Yeah, right. But um, again, Stoneman makes runs, and Milan makes runs. England only Did make balance back at six again. Or no, not? balance didn't play because. Mm. It looks like balance has brought in because if they could play twelve players or thirteen players, they could have one extra bowler, one extra yeah. batsman, basically. Okay. Um, the only problem is, is they have a monster tail now because there's no all rounders. So, uh, Wokes is batting at seven, Overton eight, Crane, Ball, and Anderson are all pretty good le- number elevens. They were batting nineteen eleven, yeah. monster tail. But um, we'll just ignore that. England do get bowled out for two hundred ninety three though. Not great with only Stoneman and Milan and Root making runs, but let's look at the positives. There is more runs for Stoneman at the top of the innings, yeah, placing the which new ball massive, in Australia, yeah, yeah. And Milan has made another 50, but I'm really happy for Stoneman because Vince is doing all right as well. 
Yeah, I wouldn't be. Another yeah, start I mean, for Vince. It's probably the best he's done the thing is in though, England. Do you when Vince did play for England, he would get starts. He would look really good at the crease, and then just. I don't think he got over forty though. But he would get. He wouldn't be getting out for nine, would he? He'd be going, getting like. I think he got like a couple of twenties in there. He'd be getting starts, yeah. and he'd look really good at the crease, and then he would just nick off. Yeah. Well, we'll see. It's good signs if bats it, like they're building confidence, aren't they? So it's good. Yeah. It, disappointing that England find themselves 155 for two to then be bowled out for 293. Yes. But, you know, England do come back with the ball well. England need to be scoring over 300, don't they? Well, they, they, they need I know this 350 isn't, at least. Yeah, I, I know this isn't the England team, but you need to be getting over 300 in Australia. Oh, well, isn't easy. Yeah, if you are. Yeah. That, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah, if you're playing, you're getting two ninety. Yeah. Oh, it's test cricket. You enough. need to be making. Yeah. Way more. But what more enough. in Australia? Yeah, yeah certainly the pitches should. Yeah. Be. So go on. We came back with the ball, Jake. Jake Ball bowls one over. Or was no. it really? Was it his over? No, Jake Ball bowls four overs and gets the one wicket. Obviously, and then does his ligament damage in his ankle. Yeah, it's his ligament damage. That's nasty. That. Yeah. That doesn't sound good to you me. You don't think he's ligaments if they if their d- ligaments take longer than bones to heal. You you think he's done for the? Like, I don't know, but it depends how serious. You saying you're not a doctor? If it's serious ligament damage, he ain't playing again. So it depends completely. Yeah, I completely agree with you. Good. If Plunkett doesn't, no, you didn't. If Plunkett doesn't you, get called up, though, I'll be pissed off. He's not going to get called up. We've had two injuries, and they haven't even mentioned him. So Cricket Australia get 233 for nine declared. Yeah. Um, Anderson two, Wokes two. No Broady today. He was rested. I don't know. If he's not out of rhythm, then he certainly it's doesn't weird need to be rested. Though, isn't it? Surely, if he's oh. your main bowler, if he's going to win the Ashes, he needs to be bowling. Craig Do they worried about him getting injured? Craig Owens has picked up the wicket. Wow. Well, well, they've just got too many, but they just don't know. I don't pick. know. I think he actually might have a little niggle and they're saying they're resting him for it. Yeah. Because he, if he's, he got shocking figures in the first game. That might I think he was carrying under, something. Underfit. I think he was, yeah. So maybe. Maybe that was sickness, I don't know, but whatever. But actually, Crane does pick up three for 78 of 21 in it's the first good, innings. Picks up the best, the most wickets, best figures. Um, He does pick up, you know, two down the innings but that's what leg spinners do yeah they will take lower and uh, order batsmen and they'll take them pretty easily but um, no standout figures there James Anderson's bowled really well in economy of under two and this Craig Overton if that's his third wicket of the tour I feel like he might start that, that first game you think him. he's a because he can bat I don't know how well but I've been oh, told England, he can bat that, no no so he he gives you something with a bat, and we're worried about having a towel. I don't, I don't, How long? I, I don't want to be picking a bowler on the fact they can bat. Right, you know, before two thousand and five, before Duncan Fletcher and all that. Yeah. When was the last time England didn't care about if the players could bat down? The, I reckon that was in the nineties. Like they're like, do you know what? If you're a good enough bowler, fuck it, we don't care. You can, I think you it happened it. more so when we were really good, like two thousand eleven, twelve. Oh, what, everyone and everyone was really good at batting, exactly. and we thought, and, and this when we were dominating. So we thought, this is how a cricket team should be, and that's how we've tried to do it. So we've just not picked, we've just picked people who can bat. Because that O five side, Ashley Giles batted eight. Yeah, sometimes that's poor. <laughs> He's not the greatest of No, he can bat. But they had a tail. But Hoggard, Harmison, Harmison, Simon Jones. Jones. Oh. They're all rubbish. Pretty much <laughs> tens or elevens, aren't they? Yes. Harmison's an eleven. Yeah, but when Hoggard hit that four, <laughs> just like the most yeah, awkward was, looking thing you've ever seen. He was the my watchman. I think Jimmy Anderson's on my watchman now. It's like, weird because Hoggard, when he's bowling, looked like a forty-year-old builder. <laughs> but you put, put a cricket helmet on him, he looks like a twelve-year-old who's playing against the year elevens, doesn't it? <laughs> He looked fucking terrified when he had a cricket helmet on. I feel like Overton will play in the first test. And like, you know when someone's really bad because the cricket grill's like smudging their <laughs> nose in like they haven't sorted it out properly. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to talk about the England second innings? Yeah, go on then. Stoneman makes another 50. Fucking hell. 
Bairstow makes a 61. Nice. Where was he batting? He is about six. It's okay. Yeah, you, well, take you take that though, don't you? Well. Depends what happens with Moeen. He'll probably bat seven. But England make 207 for nine. Declared. And well, they didn't declare because... 207 for nine? Yeah, because Jake Ball was injured, so he couldn't he couldn't bat. So England make 207 in the second Who round. are we playing? Jesus Christ. We've got Australia 11, mate. Strong side. <laughs> I don't know. We're making runs. The top order's making runs. No, they're not. Well, the the rubbish people are Stone making Run runs. Stoneman is making runs. Yeah. And Johnny Bairstow saved us at the end. I like that. <laughs> so... I have good news for you. Because England skittled out cricket Australia for 75 in the last inning. <laughs> You're guessing. Um, at one point, cricket Australia were 25 for 7. 25 for 7? <laughs> that's yeah, not good, 17 is it? overs. Mm. There you are. So, look. Everyone's doing well. The bowlers, the batters. We just need to put it into the same game. Craig Overton picked up three wickets in the second inning. And we'll win the Ashes. Well, Wokes picked up four. Jim picked up three. Overton's playing that first game. You think? Definitely. Got to be the favourite, isn't he? I just think he's going to just smash it. <laughs> <laughs> right then. That's most of the cricket news, isn't it? Well, really? I, think, I, th- I think that's just... Are you, what talk. does that second game tell us? That our batting is weak? No. No, no, no. Was that just saying that we but can I bowl think, out any team? I think that is just... I think it's good. I... T- I Feel much more positive from those warm up games. Do you actually? Yeah. Because pe- from what I've seen on social media, people are a bit sketchy. Well, I don't, I still think we're, we're in danger of getting battered. But at least we are doing something in Australia. People are scoring runs and we've, we are we've unbeaten. skittled a team out for not very much. We are un- unbeaten. Yeah. So, yeah, it's all gravy. Hours? It's all gravy. Five now? Uh, no. Um, in the next game, we need to score runs and yeah, I said Stuart we need Broad to, needs to yeah take wickets. We need to do the first game and the second game is a batting in the first and the bowling in the second and put it into one game. But hey, don't use it up. Don't use it up. Yeah, yeah. Save don't peak too like Starkles. Hit the big form like KP I remember two thousand eleven. He's getting forties, looking brilliant. Wasn't making any. Then he waited for like 72 hours or whatever it was in game to get a bat because everyone was mint. And they yeah. got that 200. So save it. Don't worry about it. Shall we... Uh... Yeah, do the big boy. We've right, got we... the big boy scratch card to finish. <laughs> okay, so the first one says bonus game. Nice. Find a 10 to win. Oh, find a 10? It's uh, like a little scratch like that. Little All right, okay. So a little uh, single scratch. I've picked up a 14, so that's not going to work. Oh, well, next one. Oh, I find a 20 to win. I didn't do that one. Fuck, man. Don't worry, bro. <laughs> What's the next one? Right, winning symbols. I right, find out what my winning symbols are. Oh, I'm going to have to actually... This is a five-pound scratch card, by the way. What's your... What are your symbols? My winning symbols are... Uh, a wallet. Nice. For the dough. Keep a mouse. The dough. A mouse. Sorry, but when does that... Why would a mouse be on Money it? mouse, isn't it? A pot of gold. Yeah, boy. And a ship. Ooh, pirate ship. Treasure. So match any of the winning symbols to any of your symbols to win prize immediately. Yeah. Right, I'll get yeah. on with it. <laughs> what have you got? A crown. No, don't need that. A diamond. No, don't want that. A plane. No, don't want a plane. How many of these have you got left? Quite a lot. Oh, sh- <laughs> Jesus Christ. You're going to be here forever. Are people that interested? Well, I'm doing it very quickly now. Okay. Right, what was that? Oh, what? Silver? No. A key? A train? No. Right, I'm two like I've got two lines left and I haven't won anything. Okay, yet. keep going. But you always win on the last line, don't you? Yeah, well, they make it exciting, don't they, deliberately? What's this? <gasps> no. no. Gold? No, <laughs> mine was a pot of gold. <sighs> That's so shit, man. What is it now? I'm on my last line. So we need two pounds. We need two pounds to get a new mic stand. A what? It says one mil, but I don't know what the thing is. No. What? If I would have had a bottle of bubbly, I would have won a million. (laughs) 5,000 pounds would have been... Oh, a helicopter. Did you win or not? I've got two more left. What's this? 
What the fuck? A limo. Right, last one. The last one. Do we leave it for the start of the next episode? <laughs> No, I've gone for Oh, for it. God's sake. That's so shit. Oh, well. Right, well, we'll see you next week. Cheers for listening. Nice one.